Are you all zen and relaxed now? <laughs> well, um, that is like, uh, as you can see, this is one of the relaxation videos you can find in YouTube. There are very many of them, and uh, those who have seen my performance before, I have used them, where I often use the sound that is intended in the videos for relaxation and help with insomnia and then combine them with somehow distorted sounds. <laughs> and so this is like title, relax music, the most amazing space, nebulous, two hours, sleep meditation, 180p, HD. Um, what I've done previously is that I've used a lot of uh, videos on YouTube as to test um, when I've been creating my video works. So I've always worked with like videos separately and sound separately. So I start off with working like elect making electronic tracks and then for instance use such videos to um, yeah, to make tests. <laughs> and by the way, for those who don't know, my name is Sandra Majinga and I'm a Norwegian artist cu currently based in Malmö. <laughs> So when I thought it's like, you guys can like imagine that I'm somehow having like a DJ mix table here, like with turntables, where I am, instead of like showing slides of what you will see, I will like present like sound samples. And because throughout my practice, I kind of insist on being that, uh, insist on being like a better listener, generally. And for those who have read the presentation, um, it mentions like micro impressions, which uh, as it also stands, I first encountered when I saw a show with uh, a uh, A.B. Jacobson and Ilana Glazer that are like founders of Broad City. And what I thought about like with their presentation was that they were so much aware of like the attention span. And that is also something that I am also thinking of constantly when I'm making my videos. That is like a video that I made like in 2013, which is like five minutes long. When I'm looking at it today, it seems like ages. Um, so here's like a sample of that from Abby and Ilano. This is my micro-impression of your Alanis Morissette. If I don't send your show. Who's got the time? Who's got the time? This is my micro-impression of your Alanis Morissette. If I don't send your shower, <laughs> that's it. Who's got the time? Who's got the time? Yikes. Here we go. And I was thinking of, uh, wait, I can show another micro impression, but this one is called Nano Impression by, uh, well, a present, not show. Uh, it's, her name is uh, Brie es Esrig, and it's, quite, it's very much available on YouTube. So this is her nano impression of Kim Kardashian, who didn't get what you said. What? Uh, I can. Sh so this is the impression, nano impression of Kim Kardashian, who d who didn't get what you said. What? So I was thinking like the first time I actually, I think I encountered like what is, what I'm talking about like micro impression, it was when I was seeing this early footage or like music videos by a um, Congolese musician uh, called Kofi Olomide. Because a lot of these big musicians such as Kofi Olomide and Papa Wemba, they have like these big bands. Um, 
And a lot of times after the videos, the musicians like get the time to like basically brag about what they're wearing and brag about like why they're special or why they should be like uh, get the space basically. And um, and that also like made me think of like the whole sort of supper movement, uh, which is also the same thing of like different codes as not only using d different fashion brands, but also mixing styles that then reminds you, that makes those outside realize that you are part of the code. And this is an ex excerpt from Best Clubs in Africa by DJ Edu. When you become a supper, you have to behave like a supper, speak like a supper, walk like a supper. You can't just talk to anyone. You need to stand out from the crowd. When you become a supper, you have to behave like a supper, speak like a supper, walk like a supper. You can't just talk to anyone. You need to stand out from the crowd. And that is basically one of the best podcasts that I've encountered, as you see, experienced by now that I insist on sound. And that is The Best Clubs in Africa by DJ Edu, where he travels through different cities in the African continent and basically captures um, these cities through sounds. And that is also something I first encountered when I was like in Lagos. It was this automatic thing for me to take selfies or try to take pictures of existing buildings and then someone would basically come up and say, did you ask for permission? <laughs> and, <laughs> and I hadn't, of course, and then I realized that that is something that you have to do. So I ended up like recording more and more like the sound of the city that became like the documentation. And speaking of supper, I think it was important to mention another, an Instagram account that I encountered, which is like um, called Moana Zadi. And this is an excerpt. So that is an excerpt from La Vie Belle, and the person singing is Papa is a young Papa Wemba um, who plays Nkuru, and the film is from uh, 1987. But why I mentioned this Instagram is that it was the first time I kind of encountered early materials uh, from, I mean, I've done it otherwise, but like through Instagram and counting like different uh, footage from like the 70s and 80s. And it was also then I encountered these different sounds for like the first time. And experiencing them for the first time as looped versions of themselves, I, I started asking myself how then I would um, re-experience them later on when they were presented outside of a social media context. And uh, with Papa Wemba, he's also very known for like singing um, the late Papa Wemba is known for singing very in a high pitch, which is something that is very much related to like the male singer as performing something that's not supposed to be phys uh, possible in some sense. But one the new figure that is interesting is Cindy, who uh, is a female, a new female Congolese singer who um, is killing the game and is 
singing in a very high pitch. All right, now I'll show you. And this is when I'm thinking of like these impressions as like of early um, research it has shown like in regards to like Congolese music it was this idea of like when it comes to vocals it was an idea of like mimicking the birds which I found quite beautiful hence also the high pitched um, high pitchedness of uh, what I mentioned earlier and then I want to present another excerpt. Is also from uh, the Instagram one and Zadi, and the excerpt is from uh, um, Kasai All Stars. So, speaking of like encountering materials that are so, I mean, more like from the 70s or like 80s, especially related to like film production and music production in Congo through an Instagram account, um, in that last um, sample, you can hear how like the sound is not, I mean, it it kind of exists in its own, and it's not uh, adaptable to the social media um, duration. So the loop is kind of off, but since we are used to that, we are getting more and more used to that, um, it's interesting then that users of social media are more and more creating like these perfect loops, such as um, the next person I'll talk about, who is Jay Versace. So that uh, it lasts like for six seconds. It's a Vine post by Jay Versace, and as you maybe uh, realize, it is a mashup of Consideration, Rihanna, and uh, work, her single work. And then this is a new post by Jay Versace. Attack! Hey, my my neck, my back. My anxiety attack him attack him out my neck, my back. My anxiety attack him out my neck, attack him out my neck, my back. My anxiety attack him out my neck. And um, here and there he's actually referencing uh, a meme that has been circulating um which was written out but it doesn't matter and and here's another post of him screaming oh okay okay we're good but it wait And here's another post of him performing Drake's famous hit Hotline Bling. Oh, lock and only me one song. Oh, 
I know when that hole ain't blind. Locking on me one sign. I know when that hole ain't blind. Locking on me one sign. I know when that hole ain't blind. So, as a huge fan of Jay Versace, every time I hear like hotline bling, I cannot exclude that loop. And so, on a good note, I want to also end with hashtag six seconds performance, um, which is a user called Kiron L. Um, and he's very famous on Vine for making this six, uh, six seconds performances. This one. I'm just, I'm just saying you can do better. I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just, I'm just saying you can do better. I'm just, I'm just saying you can do better. I'm just, I'm just saying you can do better. I'm just saying you can do better That's what I kind of insisted on presenting, like sound samples, rather than I feel that there's generally a heavy focus on surfaces and what we see. But I think there is an interesting like direction in how electronic music is being produced and how what is kind of accessible and all these loops that we just take for granted. And also how we relate to a song that is six seconds. I also find it interesting that Frank Ocean Recently, on the New, uh, in a New York Times article, article, he said because he was not part of a label, um, he didn't necessarily have to think of an album but or a song, but could also think of like half a song. And um, so I think that has always been like this interest of me of, of mine to see how um, how then what like how sound dictates like also moving images rather than the opposite to so yeah that is a very brief presentation but that's what i wanted to talk about <laughs>